Yo, what's cracking, everybody? It's your boy Big JD right here. What you are about to witness is an extreme workout in the snow. It's cold as fuck out here. It is cold. Cold, man. It's not that. I couldn't even find a face guard. I'm using this thing right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm using this right here. So we're going to get it, man. Latex gloves. I probably only rasped about maybe 15 fucking burpees tops. So my hands are already experiencing a little bit of almost like frostbite just from the couple seconds that they're out. Because I got to take my glove off just to mess with the phone so I'm gonna warm them up real fast in here like such and you want to ball them up into fists and kind of like pulsate them like you're pulsating a heart to keep the blood flowing and to warm them back up and to keep your joints from locking up because that's very important once your joints and shit start locking up, this right here could be a horrible experience. You know what I'm saying. So I think I'm ready to go. There'll be a lot more. The benefit, the good thing about it, the positive, is that there's actually a lot more rest periods when you're working out in this kind of condition. Because, I mean, let's face it, we're only human, right? And I don't care what kind of a monster or badass you think you are, working out in this kind of shit... It's pretty fucking intense. Like I can't even feel my thumb. Just from the few seconds I took my glove off the trip on that phone. Alright. So I think I'm ready to go. So you know you already got you're winding up, put your little bit of running in place. Keep your fists balled up. If your thumbs are the coldest, keep them locked in like this for a few minutes. Let the internal of your palm warm up your hands. Cause it's freezing like the wind that's blowing. It's like negative degrees. Bam. Bam. Rapid fires. Bam. Bam. That's cinco. That's five. Remember I say it because it's cold. Your heartbeat going faster than normal so you got to kind of like let your body get used to the climate get used to the environment let's move around a little bit constantly keep your hands warm get them close to your body because your body with all the thermals and everything you got on is providing that heat Right. We're gonna break into a little bit of mountain climbers. That's that. Keep back, keep moving. Don't stop moving. 
whatever you do. You gotta let your hands unfreeze again. Breathing through your nose, out through your mouth, using your abdomen. Slow your heart rate down, because your body is being bombarded with heat and cold at the same time. And your body feeling like it wants to go into shock. Bam, rapid fires. Five of them. All right. That's five more rapid fires. We're still moving. Switch it up a little. Fists are balled up. They're inside. gonna go really fast because it's freezing and you're about a mile and some change high to do to move. Move. <sighs> All right. See what I'm saying? It's cold as a motherfucker out here. Um, I just completed a snowplow burpee or uh, rapid fires in the snow. It's negative degrees out here. It's fucking snowing something vicious. The wind is blowing hard as hell. Um, unfortunately for me, I couldn't complete the sequence, the entire sequence because of a lack of gloves. I put on some little flimsy, um, what do you call them gloves, man? Them, them latex gloves that like cops and shit and, and nurses and, you know, people use that I got from my job because of COVID, they're, they're readily available. I went to try to find, you know, frostbite preventing that hypothermia type of gloves that you would normally use in this kind of weather that you could get in the federal prison system, you know what I mean? But I couldn't get any of them. Everybody fucking bought everything that there is. Thermals, gloves, beanies, space heaters, you name it. They were gone. All the water, the toilet paper, the paper towels and everything like that. Everything was gone. So I went out there and I did what I could. I finished off my workout in the house, so I ain't gonna lie. But I gotta tell you. That no matter who you are, when your hands are hitting into that snow or hitting onto that yoga mat, I was using a yoga mat, when your hands are hitting into there constantly, I mean, my hands is completely locked up like this. They locked up. I had to cut out the video and I had to go into my house and stick them under ice cold water because most of the time, them workouts, we try to go out there on the federal yard, we try to go out there for as long as we can but eventually they'll shut the outside wreck off they'll shut it down because of the temperature so we'll try to get it in as best we can because we we're going for that extreme that that hot cold factor 
right? We're trying to get, we're trying to like bombard our body with the extreme because that's what, what toughens you up. And then when we go inside the gym, it's usually packed inside of there and the body heat and the steam and everything like that gives you a really good sweat. And the fact that, you know, it's, it's really good for the heart, the heart that's, you know, was bumping and bumping in that cold weather, you know, and you're, and you're always taking in a lot of room temperature water, not cold, not hot, but room temperature water, right? At least eight, eight ounce glasses the night before you go out and do that in about three or four eight ounce glasses um, directly before you actually start this workout because that warm, that water is like lubricating your joints and it, it's, it's, it's basically providing like a warming, calming effect when you get out there because it could get it could get a little bit of a panic you know once you've been out there for a little while and you're just getting it it, it starts to get a little scary man when your hands lock up your knees lock up it's almost like you can't move i mean when i was coming back to my house because i'm not remember i'm not used to this kind of shit i didn't grow up all my life in this kind of in this kind of like weather right here man i didn't grow up my whole life in this i'm california boy southern california the only time we ever saw snow is when we went to Santa's Village up in the San Bernardino Mountains. That's the only time we ever seen snow. So for a California boy like me, especially like, even though I was out there in Colorado for almost five years, a mile and a half high up in those, up in those mountains up there, doing them workouts, it never got easier. I mean, I, I honestly believe that you need to like grow up in this kind of environment for like a decade or more in order to fully like your body to fully understand it and to basically be programmed to, to deal these conditions like evolve to adapt to the environment i don't know man it's pro <laughs> it's probably gonna be a few more years before i can actually evolve to this but you know and i know some of you's out there like in minnesota in canada are laughing at me right now but let me tell you man <laughs> I'm a California boy, man. I'm used to the beaches. I'm used to the sunny weather. My boy that's out there told me it's like 78 degrees right now. Imagine that, right? And here I am. Look at this shit. Huh? Look at that. Uh. Yeah. I was cracking, everybody. I am in my little home gym. This is my little home gym right here. You can see I got all my plates over there. My ab wheels and shit, jump ropes, bench and everything set up right there. I usually do my yoga stretches and everything right here. Uh, I will usually meditate right about here. I'll have the light off. Just a little bit of light creeping out of the ghetto fabulous sheet that covers the window right there. I don't really need to do a whole lot of cardio. And you know, even though... You know, even though I got all these these right here and everything like that, I don't really need to concern myself too much with that because of the kind of work that I do. I'm always stretching, lifting, pulling, stretching, lifting, pulling, reaching, lifting, pulling, reaching, pulling in, squatting it down, all that shit, all night long with what I do in my job. So... For being a 47 or almost 47 year old man, I'm in pretty good damn good shape. But what I always like to do, and I love to do this guys, this is like, let me get this out of here. Got to get that toad out of my way, kick these things over. Because it's usually pretty difficult to swing this rope when I got this bench right here and then I got all this debris hanging out over here. This is a speed rope, you know, as you know. You just, uh, this gives you that little bit of a warm up. So, breathe in through the nose, out through the abdomen, using your abs to breathe. Like that. All right, we're gonna get into a little bit of this rope. This is what really like makes my day. This is what sets my day, is this rope. I mean, 
better than burpees, better than running. It's like the ultimate cardio. Whoever invented it was a fucking genius. I love jump roping. I could do it for hours and hours and hours. It's good for your hand-eye coordination. It's good for your heart rate. Well, I told you I can't really swing it in here because it's not really enough room. All right, let's keep the rope-a-thon going, shall we? You know, the lack of space and room in here is really a factor. Watch, see if you can hear this. That's it in the ceiling. And every time it hits that ceiling, pulls it back down and gets wound up in my feet. You know, you really can't win this low ass ceiling. But like I said, what I do is when my feet trip me up, you know, because I got good hand and eye feet coordination. It's a skill that takes some time to develop, but in order to have an effective jump roping experience, you can't have a wall this close, a weight bench here, and a roof that's that low. This can't be done. But you gotta improvise, overcome, and adapt, which is the motto of the Marine Corps, one of them. So I like that. Makes a lot of sense. So I just do what I can, and when my feet trip up, I'll drop. And I'll do some push-ups on these perfect push-ups. Do maybe a couple of mountain climbers, whatever. But I'll keep the heart rate moving. Bam. In it. Getting it. Grab the rope. Get it. Get back into it. Keep moving. See what I'm saying? Need some money with the perfect push ups. Look at the form. You know, and in the end, watch. In the end, I may not be the buffest dude in the world, but I definitely ain't the most shot out from my age. Definitely don't got cupcakes, you know? Yeah, I don't have a six pack, but I don't have a dicky do either. I can see my cock just fine. I can see my feet, everything. All that in the back, you know? Just need to tighten up the abs a little bit, but hey, no man boobs. See ya.